I am often asked whether I am optimistic or pessimistic about the state of the world and what we can do about it. The answer is that I am realistic. I uh, see the problems very well about the International Criminal Court, for example. Uh, but I also see the progress. The progress has been fantastic. There has been a slow awakening of the human conscience. When I went to school, there was no such thing as human rights law, humanitarian law. There was no such thing as women holding key positions. All of that has changed. The American Constitution, which was a great constitution, women couldn't own property, they couldn't vote. Today, they're candidating for president. In Germany, we have a female chancellor. So we've seen that kind of changes, as well as people landing on the moon, being able to kill people from cyberspace. All of that has changed, and we have got to change our way of thinking as well. But as you see these changes taking place, and the recognition that we do have an obligation to care for refugees, we do have an obligation to, for the rich to help the poor. We do have an obligation not to contaminate the environment. All of these are human rights. We have meetings in the United Nations forever about more and more human rights. Uh, the United States representative, Samantha Power, who is our ambassador to the United Nations, is a well-known human rights person. When I see all of that, uh, I know that we are moving in the right direction. What's very important is three pieces of advice I always give to students. One, never give up. Two, never give up. Three, never give up. I hope you'll follow that advice. It will lead to a better world.